Hey, good morning. It's my pleasure to get the opportunity to walk you through a new application from Caterpillar. Uh, this has been years of, of hard work uh, that uh, has gone into this application. So today we're going to walk through new Vision Link. So if you have used the Cat app, if you've used my.cat.com, if you've used Unified Suites, Caterpillar has taken the best from all of those and have rolled it into one application, one spot, one landing spot. One other cool feature that uh, they have enabled is we now have a legitimate mobile app that you can download, you can put it on your Android phone, on your iPhone, whatever you use, on your iPad, if that's, uh, if that's your weapon of choice, and, and you can have access to all the insights that's coming from your equipment right, right at your fingertips. So you don't, you don't have to be locked down to a laptop uh, you can be mobile, you can be in your truck, you can be in the field, uh, you can enable your entire team with that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to dissect what this new application does. What's different about it? What uh, What is Caterpillar updated and enabled for you to have access to your equipment? I'm going to be using our rental fleet today, so this is real real equipment, this is running in the field today. Uh, and uh, we're going we're gonna to be able to see what this, what this application can, can do for you. So I'm going to dive in, walk with us here, and uh, you're going to learn something new today. Again, so if you have five machines or 200 machines, the goal here is going to be to take away something new that you can use in your equipment management uh, practices uh, with your team uh, to, to enable them to uh, have all the insights that they need uh, from their equipment. So one of the things you're going to notice as uh, we go through this kind of vertical navigation view, uh, starting up here at the top. So new link, vl.cat.com, pretty simple. Once you get logged in, I always like to tell people the first stop that you should make is up here in the top right corner, preferences. You get the option here of essentially setting up how you want your experience to be. So where do I want to land when I log in? How do I want my asset labels to be? Do I like serial numbers or do I want asset IDs? What do I want my location to look like? Do I want uh, GPS coordinates because that makes more sense to me? Or do I want the closest address? You got a lot of options here. I always tell people the first time they log in, stop here first and go through and set it up exactly how you want it, how you want your user experience to be. Once you set this all up, hit save, you're off to the races. Another thing that uh, I like to get people to kind of experience, you're probably not going to remember every single thing that we go through here today. Uh, you are uh, going to want to do something very specific and you're like, ah, you know what, I'm a visual learner and I want somebody to walk me through that. Caterpillar has done something pretty awesome here, which is a walk with me tour. So it's called Show Me Around Vision Link. Uh, you know, you can do a complete tour here. Uh, so if I break this one down and say, hey, I want to navigate new Vision Link, one of the things you're going to see immediately that starts happening is, is there's going to be some animation here. So it's quickly going to walk me through, you know, hey, I know Jason said something about setting up an alert. How do I do that again? No problem. I got a walk with me tour. Uh, you get a new employee that just starts and, and they, they need to have the quick uh, navigation tour of Vision Link. No problem. It's built in here for you. Lots of options here. Very neat, very cool feature. So starting up here at the top, one of the big things, if you've had any experience at all in the Unified Suites platform, which was the predecessor to what we're looking at here today, is you had to open up several windows. So you'd have several windows up here at the top open to look at your event codes, to look at your oil samples, to look at your maintenance uh, intervals. Don't have to do that anymore. It's all right here. I'm actually going to start with this needs reviews tab. So you'll notice that I've got some here already, already queued up. Again, using our rental fleet here, so these are very real codes, very real situations. I got health issues, I got my maintenance pulled up, I've got device status, and I've got utilization here all pulled up. So you'll notice that I've got some callouts here that say I've got 18 new, I've got 295 new, I've got four. 
The idea behind that is, is it is giving you a checklist. I don't know about you, but I've got a lot going on in a given day. I'm sure you do as well. If this will do the first pass for me to say, hey, you got 18 new things to look at. Now, mind you, our, our rental fleet that I'm looking at here is probably 4,000 plus machines strong. So a lot going on here. But really quickly, I'm able to see, hey, I've got 18 that I need to look at. I like starting here because where we're going to end to make this go full circle is, is to show you how you can customize these based on your needs, based on your priorities, based on what it is that you're looking for in your fleet. So I'm going to break one of these down. And you'll notice that I've got a nice little roll up here. So I'm looking at this wheel loader right here and it's telling me that I've got, I've got one brand new fault code because I've got this set up to show me the highs and the mediums. Break this down a little further and you'll see I've got my code, I've got my description, I've got what hour meter reading it was at when it happened and I got a date and I got a time. Very powerful. For most people and most folks, that's probably good enough to get you started for the day. Again, thinking about how many machines I'm looking at and really quickly, I'm able to toggle to this and say, hey, I need to look at these 18 things. Now, each one of these, if I hit the three dots over here to the right, you'll notice I get a lot of options up here. So I can immediately jump over to e-commerce and start buying parts. I can dismiss this thing altogether. Maybe this is one that we've looked at already and we already know what's going on. So, hey, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss this one. I've got a note section, totally free open field here that I can go in and put notes and say, hey, I talked to John down in the shop and John's taking a look at this thing, no problem. So lots of options here. The thing I like about this is, is you get to basically use this like a checklist. Have I already looked at it? Have somebody else looked at it? Is it already taken care of? It's about giving you more time back in your day. So I'm not sitting here looking at endless streams of data in a spreadsheet or, or in, a, in a report that comes out to me daily. So jumping down to assets. So I'm looking at everybody here. This is every one of my uh, pieces of equipment in our rental fleet that I've got this, uh, this thing filtered down to. Got, uh, got lots of options here kind of at my fingertips that I can take a peek at. Um, at any given time, if I want to dive directly into a particular asset, all I got to do is click on it. So now I'm looking at this one particular asset, gives me the highlights up at the top. Where is it located? How many hours is on it? You know, what's my health looking like? All my fault codes, all my oil analysis, all my inspections. And we're going to dive into those a little bit deeper. So you'll also notice here in the top right, and I want to I want to kind of pause here before I jump into a new window. You'll notice as I'm walking through this that there are a lot of similarities when it comes to navigation, which is fantastic. So I don't have to learn how to pull up what I want to pull up. So if I want to schedule a report, you'll notice this little calendar and this little clock, that link, you're going to see it on a lot of different windows that we're going through here. So really quickly, I can say, hey, I want this report to show up to me uh, weekly, and I can actually dictate what day of the week and what time it shows up at. Um, I can actually set an end date to this. Hey, maybe this is a temporary report that I only want for like two months and I want to cut it off. No problem. I can do that. And then I can add whoever I want to get access to this thing. I can put in a bunch of emails here, save it, good to go. If I'm still someone that really enjoys having a spreadsheet, hey, no problem. I understand that. Sometimes you like just getting a download of data and you want to provide that to somebody. I can click right here. I got a lot of different options, a lot of different formats. It'll download directly to my desktop right here, and then I can email it. I can save it. I can do whatever I want with it. So you'll notice these two icons just about everywhere on any one of these screens. You'll also notice up here this search bar. So let's say I'm looking for a particular asset. As soon as I start typing, what it's going to do is, is it is going to go ahead and give me a whole lot of options. So it is 
very easy to find what you're looking for. If I just want to type in the serial number prefix and it gives me all of my SGG D6Ns, no problem, it'll do that. Uh, if I'm just looking for a particular model, I can do that as well. So very easy to find what you're looking for. You'll also notice this filter up at the top. Now you'll notice I've got quite a few here preloaded. This filter is gonna be visible on every single page as well. So once I get into health information, once I get into PMs, if I wanna look for something very specific, no problem. I can come up and I can pull this filter up and use it at any given time. And we're gonna jump into that next.